Hi guys, it's your boy CryptoJex. Today we're going to be looking at how you can resolve the API binding error on your Royal Q trading app. So if you've been getting this error, this IP binding error on your Royal Q trading app, this is how you simply have to resolve it. What you need to do is that you need to go and delete the old API that you created in your Binance account, create a new API, and then copy the IP address that you've seen here. You can see the error message it came it comes with an ip address right you can see a list of ip addresses asking you to for security reasons you need to use this restricted ip address in order to determine what ip has access to your account so simply copy this ip address that's the first thing you want to do you copy this ip address here click on it copy successful and then you just confirm it so we are going to create a new api in our binance account and then we paste this new ip address and then we can scan the new barcode on the api that we're going to create on binance you can also copy and paste the private key and the api the api key and the security key if you so wish so let's go to our binance and continue from there so as you can see here is our old api which we created earlier on binance so since we will not be able to to get the security key again for us to be able to rebind on our royal queue what we're going to do is to delete this api and create a new api so to delete that you just simply click on delete all api that is if Royal Q is the only API that you have. If you have other API which you have created in your Binance account, do not click delete all because it's going to flush everything out. Simply click or delete the ones that you want to remove. But in this case, in this account, it's just the Royal Q API that we've, been, that we've created. Okay. And don't forget, according to Binance, you can have as much as 30 APIs. All right. So click on delete all API and then confirm and this api will be gone so now we have no api on this binance account so we have to create one again so simply we create you can name it whatever you want to name it okay we click on create api and then get our verification code from our email We copy the verification code sent to our email. Always check out this message. When you're creating a new API from Binance, it's gonna come with this message, create new API. So get the code, copy this code. So here we paste our code, our email verification code, and then it's asking us for our Google authentication code, which I'm gonna get right now. So what I have here now, 646-984. Okay, so our new API has been created. Sorry guys, I cannot show you the upper side of this API because my secret key and my API key will be reviewed, which I don't want. I'm not supposed to do that, all right? So I've created my new API. The next thing I wanna do right now is to scan the barcode using my Royal Q Trading app. So I'm going to go back to Royal Q Trading app after creating this new API. Okay. But if you're using the same device to open your Binance account and to open your Royal Q app, then you simply copy and paste your API key and your security key. Sorry, I cannot show you mine. All right. So let's go to our Royal Q Trading app and scan. So here on our Royal Q Trading app, we simply click on replace. Remember, we've created a new API in our Binance account. So we simply click on replace and then we scan this barcode. You can see the barcode option on the API. So I'm going to scan it. And as soon as I scan it, it's going to copy my security key and my secret key. All right. So when I do this, the next thing you have to do is to, to now copy the IP address after scanning the barcode. We need to copy this IP address and go paste it okay we need to copy it and go paste it in our binance account in our binance royal queue 
API which you created. So simply click on copy. So we are back for API management uh, portal on our Binance account. So all we need to do is to simply choose this option. We simply click on edit restrictions. So click on edit restrictions. It will allow us to be able to edit some of these restrictions here. So first of all, we'll click on enable spot and margin trading. All right. And then you click on the second option here restrict access to trusted IPs only. So the IP address which you copied in our RealQ app, we simply paste them here and then confirm them. So once we confirm them, we're going to click on save just on the top right here. I'm not gonna show you now because I'm trying to protect my security key and my API key. So as long as I click on that save, then everything, every configuration I've done will be saved on our RealQ API. So after this, we'll go back to the RealQ trading app and then try to bind our royal queue with our binance account so here we are on our royal queue trading app so after pasting the ip address which we just copied and pasting our api restricted ip option after doing that and scanning the barcode now we need to click on the verify verification code again so get the new verification code and then we try to bind our royal queue trading app with our binance okay so our code is simply four three eight four three four sorry one two five so here is our code and um, don't forget to check this i have read carefully the terms and conditions and risk warnings so once that is done you simply click on bind successful guys so we have successfully bound our royal queue trading app again with our binance account remember this is already an active account okay of which a uh, series of trades are already running. But because of the API error that I, I was getting, I decided to do this video to kind of teach most of us how to do it. So you can see the procedure is simple. The reason why you need to, the reason why you need to scan the barcode first, all right, before pasting the IP address on your Binance account or your Hobi account is because once you click on save, okay, the the barcode is going to be locked all right the security key is going to be locked on your api management portal so you would have to delete it and do it again and create it again so to avoid that simply come to your real queue trading app scan the barcode first when you click on replace on your api binding scan the barcode and then copy the ip address all right so after scanning the barcode, then you can paste your IP address on your Binance account, and then you can save. So now we have our full account back. So I can always go back now that our API is already bound. Simply, I can go back here and then get to check out some of the trades that we have running. Oh, most of the trades have been closed out, but we're gonna be placing new trades right now in order to continue our trading. So now our real Q trading app has been successfully bound to our Binance account and we can officially resume trading as always. I want to thank you for this session and I hope to see you in our subsequent sessions. Thank you.